Coronavirus concerns within the last few minutes, Florida's Surgeon General declared a public health emergency in response to two presumptive cases of the virus that have been reported in the Tampa area. Health officials say that one of those is in Manatee County, the other in neighboring Hillsborough County. Coming up this morning at 1030, Governor Ron DeSantis is expected to release more information about those two cases. He'll join us live, the state live uh, from Tampa to discuss the state's response as well. Right now, we are waiting for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to confirm those patients actually have the coronavirus because at this point, those test results are not yet back. State health officials say the adult patient in Manatee County has not traveled to areas impacted by the virus. The other adult patient in Hillsborough County did travel to Italy, an area that saw several outbreaks last week. Both are being treated and they have been isolated. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway joins us outside the Department of Health offices downtown this morning. And Zach, this is one of three testing areas in the state for people showing signs of the deadly virus. Bruce, that's right. The other two testing centers are in Miami and in Tampa. And like Jen just said, we expect to hear from Governor Ron DeSantis speak about the matter from Tampa at around 1030 this morning. But the question remains right now, who should get tested? Well, according to a health officials, those showing flu-like symptoms and who have traveled to these countries with outbreaks, or if you've been around someone who has tested positive for the coronavirus, you might be eligible to be tested at one of these three centers throughout the state. Now, keep in mind, those results will take 24 to 48 hours to produce. Although the CDC is warning Americans to be prepared for the spread of the coronavirus, they are encouraging people to stop buying and wearing face masks to prevent the spread of the infectious illness. Instead, the CDC is encouraging people to avoid close contact with people who are sick, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, stay home from school or work when you are sick, cover your cough or sneeze with a the tissue, then dispose of that tissue in the trash, clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces, wash your your hands often with soap and warm water for at least 20 seconds. Per the governor's executive order on the state of emergency, the CDC has deemed it necessary to prohibit or restrict non-essential travel to or from China, Iran, Italy, and South Korea. And if you're unable to wash your hands with warm water and soap for up to 20 seconds, the CDC is encouraging people to use hand sanitizer as they say this is effective. However, you want to buy a hand sanitizer that is alcohol based and the magic number you're looking for is 60%. So look on the back of your bottle and look for the alcohol content. This says 70%. So this specific bottle, this brand, is good to go. Reporting live in downtown Jacksonville, I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, The Local Station.